You've heard about Arnold Schwarzenegger and his Hummer? Well, you haven't seen anything yet because the wildest, wackiest off-road car in the world is an all the invention called the Bush Ranger. Let's see what it can do. Well, this is going to be the slowest road test we've ever done. Nothing over five kilometres an hour, especially in this very rocky terrain. It's exactly what the Bush Ranger was built to do best. I'm just talking about a supreme leap of faith when you look at an object like some of these rocks and think there is no way this thing's getting through there. But it does. You wouldn't do this with a normal four-wheel drive. It's boggy and slushy and heaps of fun. This is the full-strength Macho Man four-wheel drive experience. I mean, rivers, creeks, small lakes, no trouble. You have to be a little bit crazy to take a perfectly good Range Rover and transform it into something like this. Well, it took the Yanks years and millions of dollars to develop the Hummer. A Sydney engineer, John Davis, 24 months and the equivalent of the tea money to come up with a Bush Ranger. Mate, you're mad. Yeah, a fair few people have said that, but the vehicle's actually designed for this. You've seen us clambering around the rocks all day. There's no body damage, we haven't broken any axles. It does it quite capably, and that's what it's all about, getting out here and having fun. How many people have got a private test track like this one, then? Oh, not too many, I would say, although I think some of the people that have bought these Bush Rangers have got their own properties they fly on. From the back, the Bush Ranger looks, well, a lot like a mutant beach buggy. Off-road, it's a different story. You need a step ladder to get in. But once you're up here, the view's pretty fine. From the outside, it might look like a feral tractor, but sitting here in the cockpit, you're very tall and very conscious that there's a long travel suspension working very hard underneath. It's soaking up all sorts of pock marks, craters and rocks. This is heaps of fun. The tyres are 35 inches tall, which is 25% higher than the average Range Rover. Other things that make the bushy so accessible, so agile off-road, are really good approach and departure angles and this long travel suspension. It's really built to take the tough stuff. The Bush Ranger comes with a choice of about a dozen different engines. Six over V8, some diesels, and my favourite is this one, America's Chevrolet 5.7 litre V8. I tell you, people talk about the off-road sports car. Well, they're kidding. They jump in this thing. I'll know about sports car. As you can probably hear, the cockpit of a Bush Range is a noisy place, but it's good quality noise. Lots of wind rush and roar, and the bark of that big leafy V8. Once it's back in civilization, the Bush Ranger performs surprisingly well. You come to expect something this tall with this softer suspension to shake, rattle and roll. Well, it does tilt a little bit through corners, but overall it's more than acceptable and a heap of fun too. How much does all this craziness cost? Well, it depends. If you bring your own donor vehicle, a Discovery or a Range Rover, prices start at about $30,000. To buy one turnkey complete, you're looking at just under 50000 and you'll option them up from there. This one has got a price tag of $80,000. You don't have to be driving quickly to have a good time. The push range is all about sensory overload. This is fun. It's an outstandingly flexible off-road vehicle very specialised, but some of Australia's wealthiest individuals already have one in the garage. For them, finding a parking spot at the shopping mall is simply no longer a problem. <laughs> yeah, it goes like something out of the Hardy Parado 1000.